here goes. I'm just going to do something that I have been putting off and procrastinating for a really long time simply because it is so uncomfortable to me. So I am going to be better um, committed and dedicated to working on my blog and on my website and sharing things and getting out of my own way. So good morning. It is um, 9.19 on Wednesday morning and you will never catch me up at this time of day unless there's something special going on. And um, I was able to, I was, it's kind of a fun little honor to do the MC this morning at a Greater Topeka Partnership breakfast that was hosted at the Nota Art Center. And so they had asked me as a um, Chamber of Commerce Board of Directors and the Visit Topeka Board if I would MC it, especially because the Nodo is near and dear to me for some crazy reason. So, um, so I did that and I went and did that and that started at um, 7.30 this morning and I'm back home and kind of watching the clock um, to head down to Noto to open the shop for the day. And I thought, you know, I'm going to get some stuff done. And this is a perfect time because my hair is actually brushed. But in this, one of my goals and one of my hesitations is, is I have a lot of worries, as everybody else does. Is my hair okay? Is this right? Or um, I have a foul mouth and I say things. And, um, and I just have got to get out of my own way and realize it's okay. Um, sometimes my hair might not be brushed and sometimes I say stuff that I probably shouldn't have said and um but the intent behind it is never bad so i'm just gonna roll with it and i hope that you want to go along the journey of jenny's crazy life and what's going on with jenny and all of her crazy adventures um and if not the best thing that i've had to tell myself is that i think that there's a button somewhere that you can push it like is ignore or delete me so you just can get rid of me sorry I won't hurt my feelings but um life is good um it's just life is is great it's, um, I'm loving this weather and as you can see, I'm sitting in my office and I have my door open and a breeze and I, I firmly believe that all, all happy memories or something have to deal with a breeze. I love a breeze. I don't know what it is. So call me weird. But, um, a couple of just fun things going on I wanted to share, um, as I'm, you know, doing this, I guess, um, you know, Noto's just hopping and growing. It's been fun. It's been neat to watch all the stuff going on. We had an amazing first Friday. It was an interesting crowd this time. Um, it was neat to see so many different and new faces, which is it's always odd. I always want, you know, wonder why some old faces we didn't see and new faces we did get to see. And so either way, we love seeing faces, obviously. Um, we do have um, an underground concert coming up on September 29th, this Saturday. I'm super excited. Uh, many of you have heard of my friend, um, Eric, who um, happens to be a pianist. Um, I say that funny often, so I'm not going to repeat it again, but he plays the piano. And he will be here on September 29th at Serendipity. And I'm super excited of this. This will be a second time. Eric has genuinely fallen in love with Topeka and Noto and what it is for the arts and what the arts can do for community. And has really committed to um, coming back and being a part of Topeka and helping to, to grow the Topeka music scene and hope to bring some big acts as they travel across country as we grow these events, um, which I think I heard something about somebody else that he maybe has worked for going back on tour. Um, but I know he's worked, um, he's currently on tour with Seal and he uh, his last um, boss was Adele. So that is actually how I had met him. Um, and so many of you guys have heard that story. If not, you can find it on my blog. I actually have done a little great thing about how I met him a couple years ago um, in, in the fun adventure with that. So, but I hope you will go over to um, the website and buy tickets right now. It is um, scheduled to be an amazing event. I sat down and went through what <clears throat> vocalists in Topeka made my heart happy and who I love to listen to. And obviously I love piano and love listening to him and his talent in general. And then to bring in some of the amazing talent that Topeka has just, I, I couldn't ask for better. So I, um, there, I, I do want to throw out there just in case this is out there. There are a couple other musicians. Um, one in particular, I did ask to be, to participate as our first round out. And, um, this musician was not ready to do it, but um, they were also on my list. So I just want to make sure that I throw that out there because that is important to me. But we do have three um, that will be participating. One is Ashley Young. And many of you have seen Ashley at Serendipity. She's done Ashley Young and Friends. Um, 
She does a lot with theater here in town. She has an amazing voice. She's one of my favorite performers. She's currently working on her list of songs um, for us to propose to Eric. I know when she, we did the preliminary, I couldn't have created a better list for myself of songs that I wanted to hear. So um, they weren't all typical songs in any genre, but they were um, songs I would say 80% of people would all know these songs and would sing along. So but they were all different. So that's kind of exciting. Um, we also have Elvin Graves, who has been a musician that has played at Serendipity literally since our inception. Elvin used to be with Slow Your Roll. Um, and when we first opened our doors, we tried to help with the music scene in Topeka and um, get some nightlife going in Noto. And so we did a live band every Thursday evening. And Elvin and his band members jumped on immediately and were willing to do it and wanted to do it to see what they could do to help to, to further Topeka music scene. So that was kind of exciting. And then um, the third vocalist is Jake Livgren. And Jake has also been another musician that I have known since the start of Serendipity. And it, you know, it's a small world. Um, but a lot of the music in the state of Kansas is also known about um, the band Kansas. And that is Carrie Livgren, who happens to be Jake Livgren's uncle. So the musical talent in the Livgren family is nuts. Um, I was able to host the Liv uh, Jake's surprise birthday party, I don't even remember what year it was, at Serendipity. And it was spectacular when you see the amount of talent in a family from little to old get together and have fun and just share this talent is nuts. So he will be there. So then each of these musicians are each going to... Um, get a list of songs that they would like to do. Eric will then um, kind of go through them and work on how they're going to present it. And so then we will whittle it down and they'll each um, do three to five songs. So, um, and then we're going to hear some of Eric also. So it should be a really neat special evening um, that is one of a kind that is completely unique. And um, where else will you get to hear this um, talent on the piano and then also to bring in some Topeka musicians and I really want us to, to to fill the house I want Eric to see the amazing spirit and love in Topeka and I think we need to come out and support these vocalists I mean if you've heard any of them at a first Friday or an event or something you know how amazing they are so get your tickets go over to serendipity right now uh, serendipitytopeka.com go over to upcoming events and then underground concert and then it should have all the information there so um, I can't think of anything else that's really super exciting Oh, this weekend we have Pride at Serendipity, um, and I won't give all the events for the weekend because I don't have the exact ones, um, but I know if you go over to the Topeka Pride on Facebook, they do, they've been amazing about keeping everybody up to date on what's going on and um, what events where, and I know there's a picnic, but we do have um, drag shows um, and events both Friday and Saturday evening. So it should be a spectacular fun weekend full of color and fun. So if you're looking for something to do, come out and support um, the Topeka Pride in Topeka and um, be a part of our amazing city and help keep us colorful. So thank you for tuning in. Um, I hope you will just enjoy and embrace this crazy adventure of mine and um, love to hear feedback. I love when you guys stop in and talk to me about this or message me on that. I'm trying to figure out how to do it online that we can kind of interact more. I just don't know how to do that yet. So um, if somebody's tech savvy, message me. So hope you have a wonderful, do my eyes look kind of funny? I shouldn't do this here at the end. Hope you guys have a wonderful Wednesday. Bye.